right, my next guest today was on the show before. Let's take a look. Kaden's so happy with us together. He, yeah. you can tell. Ever since Kaden was born, you can tell Kaden's happy with him and his daddy. Whenever we were broke up for two weeks, those were the best two weeks of my life. Oh. The only reason I like going to work is because I get time away from you. Oh. Wow. I don't want to be a dad. Whenever we weren't together, I got to talk to all the girls that I wanted to, and actually, I'm still seeing one of them. Oh, really? So you couldn't tell me that? I mean, I, every week I can throw you money for the baby, but I just want to do my own thing for right now. All right, let's welcome Amber back to the show. Hey, Amber, what has, uh, he treated you pretty badly there on the show the last time you were on. Um, what happened, what has happened since? After the show last time, we actually got back together. He promised me he'd change. Oh, okay. Um, a couple months later, he started telling me that he's got to go to the scrapyard, that he needs to go work. And yeah. one day he went to the scrapyard and he didn't come back for a whole 24 hours. Oh. He left. Must be hard to find all that scrap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He so, left me and my baby at the house for a oh, whole 24 hours. Oh he didn't come back till 11.38 that next morning. 11.38? Yes. Hmm. A couple hours goes by and he calls me and he says that he's coming to pick me up and he's gonna take me to our aunt's house for basically saying that I need to leave. And so, you know, he takes us to the aunt, my aunt's house. Two weeks goes by and I'm messaging him about the baby, telling him that I need diapers, you know, when can I come to the apartment to get my stuff? and he never messages me back. So he's gone at work and I have a key to the door. So I go and try to unlock the door and he's changed the lock. Wow. So I go through the window and <laughs> upstairs to try to rush and pack mine and my, stuff, my baby stuff. And Jerry, when I go up there, he's got a female's bag on the bed. Oh. So I get done packing everything and I leave condoms, and I leave lube on the bed for him because if he can't take care of us and support us and help us out and be a family, why is he gonna go make another one? So I left lube. Yeah. So a couple weeks go by and he, he basically tells me that he wants to go shopping with me and the baby to try to get back with me. Oh, so now he's saying, yes. I'm sorry, I yes. want to be back. Well, we go shopping, and he tells me that he wants me, and he's going to change, and of course, I fall for it, and I go back to him, and a couple weeks later, he's messaging the same female in his phone. Oh. I call her, try to confront her, and she acts scary, so I brought her here today to see what's going on. Yeah. Do you think that he can be faithful, or is this going to be something that goes on and on and on? On and on. He's not ready to grow up. Okay, here's Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, are, are you, I guess she wants to know, are you still with him, or? I mean, we messed around for a while. So what about when you were at my house? You seen my stuff? Yeah, I was there you for. You seen my baby stuff? Yeah, I did see it. So just trying I, to see, I was right? there. I was there for um, three days, as Dalton invited me to come stay. So I did, I came and I stayed for three days. I used your shampoo, your dove that I poured all over the floor after I got done using it, your dishes, the one dirty ones that you seen all over the house that I'm not gonna be Dalton's maid and clean up. Then why are you there? I was there because Dalton invited me over and we hadn't seen each other in a while. He told me he wanted me to be there. He told me he wanted me to come over, watch some movies and maybe catch up. What else did you catch? <laughs> no, <I'm fine. laughs> but from your point of view, you knew that they're still together, or? Dalton's always cheated on her, since day one. What's the point? 
he's just cheated and cheated. He's came to me to find other girls to cheat on you with. And so you continue just talking to him, sleeping around with him, let him sleep around with everybody else? Absolutely. And me and you and everybody else? Yeah. While he has a family? Not. I mean, you can just keep running back to him. I don't see the point. Here he is. Here's Dalton. <laughs> Uh, you love her? Yeah, I love her. Well, you gotta know that if you love her and you have a child with her, you kinda gotta stop what you're doing, no? Well, see, here's the story. Yeah. She blew it out of proportion, the whole scrapyard thing. So, my work was slow. Yeah. I'm an electrician. Yeah. So, I went and got a side hustle. My buddy's paying me to drive his scrap metal back and forth from Mississippi to Alabama. Yeah. And I'm going for maybe four hours. Yeah. And she calls me 20 times in an hour. Yeah. And texts me over 30 times that hour. So she started calling me again. I looked at my phone and I debated on whether or not I wanted to answer it. I answered the call and I told her, Amber, if you call me again, I'm not coming home tonight. So what she do? She called me again. Instead of not, if she's calling you all those times, why don't you just talk with her? Because she knew, she knew what I was doing. She, she, was, she was accusing me of doing other things. And the first time I came back after the first load of scrap metal, I brought her some money and I brought her a receipt. Does that not tell her what I'm doing? Do you want to be with him? No. I didn't want to be with her, Jerry. I want to be with Maddie. Oh. That's it? He just wanted to be with me. You what? Didn't he just say he loved me? I, I said I love her. I love her. We, we have a family. I'm always going to love her unconditionally. But I don't want her. I want Maddie. Will you be with me? No. Oh, you, oh, you don't want mm -mm. He cheats too much. He's a player. That's all he's going to do to me. We'll be back.